it's Sandy Parker and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. Today we're outside our Dollar Tree and hopefully we'll be able to record inside. I'm going to show you over 20 different items that are not really for crafting but we will repurpose for crafting and I'll show you how. We're in the craft aisle. Actually it's party supplies but it's a craft aisle and the art palettes that you would mix your inks or your watercolors in they have here and I'm going to show you another use for them and um, they're only a dollar you get six of them so that's a good buy. These are perfect for peg stamps. I store all of mine in these containers. They have all different colors and they're exactly the right size to stand the peg stamps on end. So I really really recommend these and they come as I said in a bunch of different colors. I use poster boards for a lot of different things. You can use them at Christmas time to make wreaths. You can make uh, Christmas trees out of them. And I use them for backgrounds of my photos. This is also another section you can find more of those palettes, at least in my store. And I'm going to take you on down. This is the road that has uh, paper goods and pens and pencils. Lindsay the Frugal Crafter and I really like these finger paint pads because you get um, they used to you get used to get more pa uh, pieces, but they were more like newspaper before. Now they're whiter. I like this better than the older pad, but you only get 20 sheets now, which is a little bit less than before. But I love these for just using as as a stamping pad or just to mop up your anything that spills. Their washi tapes aren't like traditional washi tapes. They're more paper based, but I like them because they really adhere well versus regular washi tape that pulls off easily. So you might want to consider that. And also, I really like all of their little pads, especially these kind, because you can uh, cover them and I have a bunch of videos where I show those being covered. This is the art pad. I usually get, you get 30 sheets of it and you can see there's a big difference it's bigger, I don't know if you can tell that, than the other pad, but it's not as white. So if you're looking for bright white paper, you'd want to go with the one that's a finger paint pad. If you're just looking for something to mop up your messes, this one has more pages and it's bigger. So um, it depends on what you want. The other thing, we're now in the automotive department, and one of the things that they have here that's really great is their masking tape. It's low tack and it will, it will rip off of your projects without tearing the paper, so it's something you might want to consider. And in the automotive department, oddly enough, is where they have their foam mounting tape. So if you want to have foam tape on your projects, I really like them. It sticks. I haven't had a problem with it coming off, and you get a lot of them. And now you get 25% more free. It's a bargain. I really like this LA Looks hair gel, especially in the blue, because it works really great for cards that you want to look like they've got water in them, and you actually do use the gel in the card. So I'll I'll link all the videos that I've done with use these products for, and show them. But that's the best one. When it comes to hairspray, hairspray is a great sealant for your products. So if you're doing something with like chalks and you want to make sure it's sealed so the chalk doesn't smear, cheap hairspray is your answer. So not mousse, hairspray. That's the best way to go. I like their spray bottles for water. You can get a fine mist by just pu pulling it a little bit. And if you want a bigger stream, you can pull it harder. But it does a nice job with water. And then they also have the pump bottles that you would put alcohol in. This is the pump bottle I was talking about where you s push down on the top and your stamp cleaner comes out. I really like this and I use it often. Most of the big Dollar Trees do carry this. My store, I think I've said before, is not a great one so it doesn't have all the same products but you can find this in most Dollar Trees and I really recommend you get one of those. I would buy this hand, hand sanitizer first because it can clean your misty and it will clean your hands. It'll take all of your inks and your dyes off, well most of them off, and it really does a nice job of cleaning your misty. And then after you've you run through this one, you get the refill that you get 50% more. So this is a great combo for you. You've probably never thought of this, but chapstick is terrific for adhering red rubber stamps to blocks and being able to wipe them off. You don't have to have any other adhesive. You just put a little bit of 
regular chapstick on the back of your stamp. You can put it in your Misty or an acrylic block and it'll work both ways. Men's Shave Cream is a terrific product. All you have to do is put that into a plastic tub and you can make marbled or marbleized backgrounds with it and I'll connect the video to that where I use it. This is the trifecta. Cosmetic wedges are great for using with stencils and Lindsay the Frugal Crafter makes her own uh, blending tools with it. I use these little eyeshadow applicators for chalks and I'm just figuring out ways to use this blender sponge. You can use one of these to uh, put in it's just a brush to uh, take cornstarch or baby powder and wipe across your emboss before you emboss with it. The brush that I showed you in the video can be used much like this brush. Now this one has the cornstarch or baby powder in the base of it, but you can take a little bowl that, or a little like Rubbermaid container that you keep a small amount of cornstarch or baby powder in, then use that little brush and you, you know, just dip into your powder and then wipe across the image you want to emboss, and that makes sure that any fingerprints or any grease from your hands or any of the stray embossing powder won't won't be left behind. So this is a great alternative. Well, the one the one that we show you in the Dollar Tree is a great alternative if you want a, a good brush. In the makeup section, these sanding blocks are with the nail products. These are perfect for cleaning up edges of paper that might be a little rough. And in the same aisle is where you find their eyeshadow in pots. And these are really great for using for the mica powder in them. They're very, very uh, glittery and they work really well. And they have a bunch of colors. They usually have gold, pink, purple, and like a copper color. Dryer sheets are a great way of helping get intricate dyes out of uh, the, the die cuts out of the dies, and I'll show you how to do that in an upcoming video. But it takes four of them that you fold and put right behind your die, and uh, it makes it so that the images pop right out. Here we are in the Dollar Tree. I've got Rich with me, my chief editor and music man, and we are going to be shopping. And we're not telling anyone here that we're doing this because we're afraid we're going to get in trouble. Shh, don't tell anyone. Their shopping mats are super to use when you want to cut on your paper, and you can, you can use your craft knife or an exact knife demon stick as I would call it. You can also use it to protect pages behind what you're doing like on a in one of your journals if you want to make sure one page is all arted up and the other one underneath is not. That will be a great way to protect your other surfaces. I use these clasp free elastic round elastic hair bands to make uh, book mark bookmarks for books and they come in really handy for that. You can use it for a bunch of other things in any book binding but it's a really great tool. If you're making your own homemade pouch that you wipe off any stray embossing powders before they get there, use baby powder and you can make your own gesso with baby powder and you can also make your own texture paste with baby powder so that's a really great product. Then baby shampoo, I use one part baby shampoo with 10 parts of water to make my own stamp cleanser and I really like it. I like the smell of it too. Of course everyone uses baby wipes. I'm not really fond of that but what I do use are baby bibs not from the Dollar Tree but just in general. I like the baby bibs that don't have plastic backing like this one and that have velcro and what I do is I velcro them to the arm of my chair I buy these at thrift stores and garage sales and then I clean up my mess and I wash it I don't have to throw out, out any waste like you do with the baby wipes so this is a re really environmentally friendly way of doing things especially if you're recycling from someone else no crafter over the age of 40 can do without these you gotta have your eyeglasses for reading because you're gonna do some intricate work and for a dollar you can't beat that now I normally use knee highs for mine, but if you want to make your homemade embossing pouch where you put the cornstarch and or baby powder in it, you'd use two knee highs inside of each other and then you'll fill with maybe two tablespoons of baby powder or cornstarch and then you knot it really, really well and cut off the excess. And I've used mine forever and it works great. So if your Dollar Tree sells knee highs, that'd be great. Mine, unfortunately, 
I think I've said, is not the greatest. We're getting a brand new one, though, and I'll be doing a big run-through when we go through that one. Anyway, uh, knee highs is the answer to that one. It's a really great DIY for all of us who have glue that we can't get out of the bottle. You buy some of these flat beaded. They're not round marbles. You might need two, two of them if you use this size container. You might be able to get away with the littler one. If you, use, if you buy the littler one, again, it might fill the whole thing. What you're using this for is you're going to put your glue bottle upside down in there and it holds the glue down to the base. So all you have to do is pick it up out of your little DIY glue holder and there you have it. Alcohol is one of your best friends. It will remove any kind of ink off of surfaces and it's great if your alcohol markers have gone dry. You can take a, a, a medicine baby, uh, I'll have to show you this, it's a little medicine squirty thing and you um, put your alcohol into it. I prefer 70 to 90 percent. I like the higher volume. So you might want to go to like a Walmart to get the higher percentage alcohol because it does a better job of making your markers refreshed and you can use it to wipe your inside of your misty. Don't wipe where your lines are or it could take your lines off. But alcohol is a great friend to the craft room. Another great friend is cotton swabs. You can use those for all kinds of things like applying chalk to your projects. Um, if you don't have a really fine tip that you want to, if you want to take a piece of a stamp off of the stamped image so you can wipe the ink off of the stamp before you stamp it, that works well for that. You just take a little bit of your image off with that. One of the things I really like are sheet protectors. I use them to store my large embossing folders. You put them in a three ring binder and it works like a charm. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little tour of the Dollar Tree and got some good ideas about how you can repurpose things for crafts. And I'll come up with another one of these a visit in the future when we open our new store. I hope you give this a thumbs up and subscribe. Please tell your friends about me on social media because you know I love that. And thanks so much for watching.